Hey guys, out here cultivating my transitional soybeans. I uh, just kind of wanted to show you how it was doing. I have not changed any settings from when I was doing corn. So everything's exactly the same. Um, it's doing a pretty good job. Cutaway discs, still cutting away from the row here and then the hoe shields kind of crumbling up the, the side. The Acura track hitch, the row feelers are staying on the row really well. So I'll kind of give you a little front view here. Um, just how close I have these discs set. And then the hoe wheels in the back. Also what I've figured out with this row feeler on the guidance hitch. Soybeans planted thick. It's a lot easier for this to feel the row versus corn as corn is uh, planted a lot thinner and, and spaced out a lot more. I have not done anything to these beans since I planted them. Um, I've been scouting and just haven't really seen much. It's just been in the last probably two or three days. I've got some velvet leaf coming up here. There's really not much in the row. Um, like I said, just some, some velvet leaf. It's really clean through the row. And again, this is first year transition. So this is kind of what they call the honeymoon phase where you still have some residual herbicide uh, carryover kind of left. So it's going to be a little cleaner than when you get to certified organic in your third year. Today I'm running about six and a half. It's doing a pretty good job. I'm really happy with it. As I explained in the other video, when I was doing corn, the Acura Track Monitor here, pretty simple to run. I've uh, been really impressed with it. These beans are cultivating pretty well. Um, so I thought I'd do a little video in the cab here telling you about how I got started into organic farming. I have some family members that are sensitive to gluten and that really bothered me. I started wondering why that was happening. Why were they sensitive to it? Was it because of something that farmers did or farmers have done? Something that they were using or practices that they shouldn't be using? So I started looking into it more and I'm not gonna get into technical stuff, um, science stuff. I felt like farming organically kind of helped curb that a little bit. I started thinking about one day when we might have kids. If I would want my kids playing in a field with a bunch of herbicides, pesticides, fungicides, seed treatments, I know I did as a kid, but that's not something that I want my kids to grow up playing with. I started to get fed up with conventional farming methods as far as we work really hard and I'm not trying to be boastful I'm not trying to brag or anything but farmers work so hard and they get paid almost nothing and I don't think that's right I think that a farmer should get paid for the work that he does Yes, farming organic is a lot more work. It takes a lot more time, a lot of management. It takes skill. It takes dedication. But the reward is definitely worth it. Knowing that I'm growing food for people that don't have any chemicals on it. I don't have to handle chemicals. I don't have to handle seed treatments. Some of you might be wondering what all we can put on 
organic ground as far as fertilizers. Um, we can use any kind of herbicides or pesticides. As far as the herbicides, um, there are some organically approved herbicides. Not many, but um, it's mainly essential oil kind of stuff or vinegar, um, mainly just natural things. That would, that would go for pesticides as well. For fertilizers, we can use any kind of manure, uh, chicken, hog, cattle manure. It does not have to come from an organic source or an organic dairy or chicken operation, hog operation. It can come from conventional farms. They made that rule because there are not enough organic farms to supply enough organic manure for all the organic ground. Maybe one day that will change, but as of right now, uh, that's the rules. With all the recent dicamba rulings and the Roundup lawsuits, it just kind of fortifies my thinking that this is the new way of farming. I don't think conventional will go out completely, but I do think that this is a more sustainable, more regenerative way to farm, including cover crops in our rotations, always having something green growing, definitely healthier for the soil for all the living organisms, microbes, earthworms, fungi, all those things living in the soil. We want to take care of those. We want them to be around for when my kids get bigger. Currently the way I'm farming organic is I'm using tillage. Um, there is organic no-till. Um, that's out there, University of Wisconsin, Practical Farmers of Iowa, uh, Western Illinois University. There are a lot of people, and I can't forget Rodale, there are a lot of people doing a lot of work on organic no-till. Eventually, I would like to look into that system, but as of right now, I'm just learning, just getting to know how to do things organically. So using tillage is going to be the way I'm going to be doing things for at least a few years and I'll probably start to dabble in no-till as I feel comfortable. I had 60 pounds of rye drilled in here last fall on October 15th and I worked this down with a Dagelman Pro-Till. Very pleased with the stand of soybeans I have out here. I'm making a little bit of a groove in that last row there. Um, see if I can set that cutaway disc down just a little bit and see if that helps. One thing I have learned with this cultivator, when these points get wore down, it won't go in the ground. It'll just kind of skid on top. These help suck it down into the ground and, and keep it there. That's much better. It's not creating a groove like it did before. I think this is going to be my last pass for today. Uh, I've got a couple people coming over tomorrow uh, just to see my setup and see what all I've got 
going on here with Acura track hitch and the Hanneker elevator. They just want to see how it works and how it's running. So I'm always open and willing to have people come out and and look at what I'm doing. That's how I learn. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing and uh, liking my videos. I'll see you on the next one.